Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, praise the Lord, everybody. We are highly and happy and peacock proud to welcome you to St. Mark African Methodist Episcopal Church, where we affectionately refer to ourselves as the Mark on the Mount. But we believe that we want to make an indelible impact upon the lives and the livelihood of those that are in the Nash and Edgecombe and Wilson counties. But we welcome you to this place and we dare you to have an extremely good time and awesome time on tonight. Now, I want you to make me really feel like I'm at church on Sunday morning. Can y'all do that for me? So I'm going to welcome you like I welcome folks to St. Mark every Sunday morning at 11 o'clock. Amen. We welcome you in the joy of Jesus. Amen. And we thank the Lord for who he is and we're excited about what he's doing. Amen. Amen. We thank the Lord that you are here and you look so good. that you will not take any flash photography. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm talking about you right now. <laughs> take the flash off your camera right now. Just take it. <laughs> Mama, if you don't know how to work that smartphone, give it to one of them babies. They know exactly. They, they know how to turn the flash off. We want to have a good time tonight. Um, you can record, you can videotape and all of those great things. And, and if you are going to go on social media, just hashtag the mark on the mouth. Amen? Amen. Hashtag the mark on the mouth. You know, mommy, you don't know what hashtag. It just has the baby. Ask your grass. Ask your grass. Ask your grass. But we're excited. We, we want to open up with prayer. Is that all right? Amen. Prayer is still, still changing things. Prayer still works. Somebody declared no prayer, no power. We went to the same church. Little prayer. Oh, y'all quick, y'all quick. Much prayer. And there's somebody that surely can call down God from heaven. And when you look at the uh, Webster Dictionary, you look under A and B, we surely will see I found the Richard Allen and our and our shield of the cross and and uh and the animal. But when you look up St. Mark A and A and B Church. The face of it is one of the patriarchs of our church, and he's going to pray for us tonight. Give it up for Brother George Cooper. All right, come on. I said George Cooper, y'all. Y'all didn't hear what I said. I said George Cooper. Yes, sir. Let us bow our heads in reverence. Let us close our eyes. Let us concentrate this prayer. Almighty God, I come this afternoon. Lord God, I come saying thank you. Come lifting up your name. Lord God, we come this afternoon Ah, we come with a joyous heart. Lord God, throughout this building, all on the grounds and the area surrounding it, Lord God, the people are coming. And we pray a prayer of thanksgiving. Lord God, we thank you right now for our pastor, Lord God, this man of God, this preacher, teacher, Pastor Robert J. E. Yarbrough. 
Lord God, we thank God for the officers and the membership of this church that we, that we so proudly call the St. Mark African Methodist Episcopal Church. Now, Lord, we come and we pray for this choir, this, this, this African, Lord God, this African choir. Lord God, from the motherland. Lord God, you have brought them this far. Lord God, and we pray that you would just put a hedge of protection around them. Lord God, we pray that you would keep them as they come forward this afternoon. Lord God, in this worship service. Lord God, we pray for fire, Lord God. That holy fire. That something will be said. Somebody will be stirred, Lord God. And we thank them for the message right now. Lord God, bless this assemblage. All those that's under the sound of my voice. Lord God, we would pray that you would, you would protect them from danger seen and unseen. Lord God, as I close this prayer, Lord God, we would just pray and we would say again that you would just come in this place and Lord God, it would be all right if the Holy Spirit come and just tear it up in the name of Jesus. Lord God, we pray, we pray right now for the showing, Lord God. We ask this prayer and all prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Come on, give God praise. Come on. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. Let the church say amen. Amen. Now listen, I need y'all to keep that energy going. When we were back in 2018, we were talking about bringing this wonderful choir here. And we were right at the top of the list for them to come in May. And then something happened with, I was going to say immigration, I didn't mean to say that, that was a Freudian slip. Um, something happened with the passports and they weren't able to make it. But tonight y'all are in for a treat. I think it's somewhere in the Word of God that said the first shall be last. And the last shall be first. And let's save them the absolute. Come on, don't your neighbor say they save them the best for last. We're going to introduce Jade Powers, who is the tour director, and she's going to introduce the African Children's Choir. Come on, give Jade a big hand. Give her a big hand. Give her a big hand. you're about to see and we are so excited to be here with you this evening. Back home in Africa the children you are about to meet have been surrounded with extreme poverty and deadly sickness but despite those harsh circumstances they have refused to lose hope. They truly represent the tremendous potential of Africa. They represent the change that is possible with hope and faith and they have traveled halfway around the world to share their hope, faith, and joy with you this evening. But before we begin, I would like to introduce you our choir conductor, Paul Mina, and our head teacher, Justine Namiengo, who both toured with the African Children's Choir when they were young. So please join me in welcoming to the stage, Uncle Paul and Auntie Justine. Our choir children are only 8 to 11 years old and they need your encouragement. So please don't forget to support them by clapping and cheering them on. Amen. So, are you ready to meet them? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. It is with great pleasure that I introduce to you 
the truly remarkable children of the African Children's Choir.
The African Children's Choir started 35 years ago in Uganda. In 1984, during the brutal reign of Idi Amin, a terrible civil war left hundreds of thousands of orphans without a home and without hope. Our founder Ray Barnett was doing relief work in Uganda at this time and was inspired by a little orphan boy he was giving a lift to in his car. The boy had just lost his parents and did not even know where his next meal would come from, but he sang the entire journey with pure dignity and joy that moved Ray Barnett deeply. So Ray thought, why not bring a group of children to the Western world so that everybody could see the great promise and potential of Africa's children? The very first choir came into North America in 1984. Since then, the work of the choir has extended into multiple countries and now the choir supports students in over 35 schools. In the last 35 years, the choir has educated over 52,000 children. The Bible tells us, God knew us before we were even formed in our mother's womb. And that he even has a plan for us. In fact, he knows each and every one of us here by name. We would like for you to meet these children and hear the plans that are in their hearts. And believe that amongst us, there may stand a future leader of Uganda. A future teacher who will bring knowledge and education to the hearts of the poor or even a doctor who might discover the cure to cancer or AIDS. Are we ready to meet them? Yeah. I 
día. To end questions that you and I may have, Jesus is the answer.
symbolizes an angel of mercy. And that is what music for life is to us and to so much more. Music for life is for us just as we were, dirty, filthy, but they saw the potential. From that experience, you know, it was just, that follows me to date. Um, it's been a journey of having been exposed as a seven-year-old kid to a world that's out there, a world of possibilities, and then coming back and having guaranteed education, which is what now I picked up with uh, primary school education, secondary school, and then uh, uni, college, where I did my communications uh, studies there, that was in Tangaza. And this was made possible by the sponsorship through the musical life. That brought me to where I am today, seated in this chair, because I acquired an education and the skills to start me off and give me a start in this media industry uh, in Kenya. When I joined the choir, I was able to finish primary, high school, and university. Around the area where I live, once the girls are like 13 and 14, they got married off. So school ended for them. Because the choir helped me, I was able to help so many uh, other girls to get to school because their families now saw the importance of going to school and being educated and, you know, just, just because of that one act. Somebody out there, very many people gave and I was sponsored. So was my wife. And right now, I have a team of more than 10 people that I work with in business. And they, are, they also have all their other families. It's a report that never stops. Someone looking outside, looking at my young brothers and sisters here, uh, who just sang to you beautifully, might think, oh, poor thing. You know, like, who will they go back to? But when we come back here, home, we have a family. We have someone to call. Later, when we're growing up together and we're doing life together, you go through high school, you go through college, um, someone sees you, probably like that's probably seen you on TV, say, hey, congratulations, we're proud of you. That keeps me going. And they're not my, they're not related to me by blood, but they're my family. It's now our opportunity to bring up our children in a godly way, in a way that they, they understand what society is. Our kids are not going in the choir. We do. They now have there are parents that have been helped and are going to put them through school. So it's now up to us to lead a life that will allow them to enjoy life and allow us to impact our community. You've been watching the story of the girl on the video who has given out of a generosity. She doesn't have much but she has still extended a hand and helped someone. This is exactly what Music for Life has done for me. God saw me and wanted me just as I am. God saw me, God wanted me just as I am. God saw me and wanted me just as I am. God saw me and wanted me just as I am as I am.
hope you are enjoying yourselves. Paul and I sang in the African Children's Choir when we were young. He was in choir 22 and I was in choir 21. As you have seen our brothers and sisters in the video, when Music for Life brings children into the choir program, their lives are changed. Our lives were changed. After a tour, I went back home and I continue to be educated by Music for Life through university. I now hold a degree in human rights and ethics. I joined the African Children's Choir in 2002 when I was on the eight. I lost my, mother, my father when I was four months and so I had to live with my grandparents. My mother did not have a job, so my cousins and I relied on the very small portions of food my grandmother would gather from her tiny garden. We did not have enough money for decent clothing, much less for school. However, joining Music for Life will forever be my greatest miracle. After tour, I went back to Kenya where the choir ensured that, among other things, I received the very best education from primary school all the way through university. I now hold a degree in finance. It has been a long journey, but one thing with hope and with love. It is the very same journey that those beautiful children have just started. We would like to take this incredible blessing you're receiving this evening to many cities and communities all across America, but we need your help. This evening, we are going to collect an offering, and we have a goal of raising $3,000. With your help, we can make immediate impact through our programs which include education, discipleship, access to clean water and sanitation, among other things. On your way in this evening, you received an offering envelope. On it, it's written, Music for Life. If you do not have one, kindly put up your hand and an usher will come to you. This evening you can give by cash, write a check payable to Music for Life, or through credit or debit card. Long, long time ago, a little boy brought few fish and few loaves of bread to Jesus, and he for sure multiplied those gifts in miraculous ways. Just imagine the much he'll do with the gifts we bring. I would like for now to invite the Reverend to pray for our offering. Thank you all in advance for your great generosity and may the Almighty God continue blessing you abundantly. Come on, praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, it's giving time. Come on, it's giving time. Wow. Listen, if, if you didn't get an envelope, raise your hand. We want to give you an opportunity to do that. Again, if you're making out a check, make it out to Music for Life. Music for life. You're doing cash app, uh, just do the mark on the mount, not assign the mark on the mount in C. Uh, we have a um, uh, representative that's going to join our finance team. We'll make sure every single uh, dime, every single nickel, every single penny that you give will be given. Uh, ushers are going to be receiving your offering here in just a minute, but I want you to understand something. Y'all see that, uh, y'all see that balloon up there? Y'all yeah. notice that? Yeah. Some of y'all are pretty observant. And, and, and we, we preached a series of sermons on generosity. Talked about being generous. And I said this to the church. I said, God doesn't want your money. He wants your heart. 
He wants your heart. Because if you look at my checkbook, you'll see KFC and Bojangles and well, YouTube Popeyes, churches. Oh, I don't discriminate when it comes to chicken. I don't, I don't discriminate. But God wants to know what your heart is saying. Because where your heart is, your treasure shall be also. So let us give today. I, I'm sorry, they said they had a goal of? Ah, scratch that. We have a goal of 5,000 tonight. Give the Lord some praise for 5,000 tonight. Can y'all help us to do that tonight? Give in a way that will be an absolute blessing. And I thank you for it right now. The ushers are, are moving about right now to receive your offer. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Cash App again is dollar sign the mark on the mouth in C. I know some of y'all know Cash App. Dollar sign the mark on the mouth in C. We'll receive that and we'll be able to, to do that. We'll, we'll take your change and dollar bills as well. We'll go on with your cute stuff. Yeah, turn that up just a little bit. We're going to dance today. Where my high folks at? Where my dancers at? Oh, you coming up here with me, bro. You coming, sister, you coming up with me. Yeah. You know, my dancers. Mama, I told you I'm coming to get you. Don't you try to hide. You too cute over there with that African outfit. We got to dance today. Yeah. Thank you so much. I see you. Yeah. Coming up here too. That's right. Oh, I'm going to get God bless you guys. Thank you so much. Five thousand dollars. Let's do it for that. Five thousand dollars. Cash out one more time. I know some of y'all didn't bring enough cash, and you want to give it a major way. Dollar sign the mark on the mount N C. The mark on the mount. T H E. M A R K O N T H E. M O U N T. N C. The mark on the mount N C. Mark on the dollar sign, the mark on the mountain seat. And we'll immediately be able to register it. I didn't bring my phone up here. Grab my phone for me, Dora. Bring my phone, bring my phone for me. I'll be able to see the game. All right. God bless you guys. This is awesome. Thank y'all so much. Y'all had the audacity to come out here in the in the rain. Don't feel like it in the rain. D. Rich, thank you. Amen. Lauren, thank you. Jeremy, thank you. Oh, man, how awesome. Y'all are so awesome. That's Jeremy Herring and Lauren Yarbrough and D. Rich, all right. Has everybody had a chance to hear? Oh, that's all right. It's still coming. Wait, wait, wait. That's all right. I can't see y'all at all. All right. Anything else coming on passion? It's not too late. Dollar sign, the mark on the mountain sea. All right. Would y'all give it up for my super fly ushers? Uh, y'all ain't being nice enough. I said, my superpowers, y'all look good. Yeah. 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 Has everybody had a chance to give? You had 500 you wanted to give? 200 over here, y'all ready? Come yeah. on. Okay. All right. Where, where's Kathy? Austin Curry, where you at? Come here, Kathy Austin Curry, come here. Come on, if you have a chance to give, come on, I still need a cash in. We're probably real close. 
Kathy Austin Kearney. Give it up for Pastor Kathy Austin Kearney. I'm going to ask you to pray for the offering tonight. How many of you know y'all are blessed because you gave? Yeah. Yeah. Well, maybe somebody here doesn't even have a job, but you came anyway and you gave. You know what? God's going to bless you right now. He's going to bless it back to you 30, 60, and 94. Oh, I want to hear your testimony when you get a job of how God's going to bless you. You're going to get a better raise. I know your money's funny. I know your change is strange. I know your credit won't get it. But I tell you what, God's going to bless you because you've been generous with them. Holy and gracious God, we are so grateful. We say thank you because every good and perfect gift comes from you. And you have poured and poured and poured and poured and poured into our lives, all of our lives. And so we are grateful enough this evening to extend back to you an offering, a sacrifice for some of us. Not much of a sacrifice for many of us but a gift that we lift from our hearts to say thank you, thank you. And so Father, we ask you to multiply what is in these red buckets tonight. And let us, God, by your mercy and your grace, the one who owns everything and is the creator of all that exists, God, we ask you to just blow it up. Make it big, God, because you are a big God. And we also ask you, Lord, to touch each one who has given what they could. Lord, and just return to them as a pastor has already spoken, 30, 60, 100, 200, 500 fold. It's not too hard for you. And bless these children. Who did not think it robbery, God, to sacrifice their time and to come and travel, Lord, so that they could all, they could not only support themselves but their kindred and their families and their friends and children who aren't even born yet. Lord, we just pray you bless them, keep them, and bless this offering that is given in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Come on, give yourselves another big hand. I need to see where my hype people are. Give me a hype, where the hype dancers are. And the dancers. I'm coming for y'all, too. I'm coming for y'all. I'm coming for y'all.
sponsoring one of our children. Somebody just like you had my cry, and I was sponsored, I was fed, I was clothed, and I was educated. Thanks to the generosity of my sponsors, I can stand before you tonight. Just like these beautiful children, so many children back in Uganda are still in need of sponsorship. So please don't forget to meet me at the sponsorship table right after the concert. Isn't it wonderful that all these nice people came to our concert? Oh yes! We understand that some of you would like to take us 
comes and adopts us. Is that so? Yes! yes. <laughs> I am very sorry to inform you that you are not up for adoption. <laughs> choir children, and that is by becoming a volunteer with the Music for Life organization. The children call us aunties and uncles, and we have the amazing opportunity to be able to help shape their character and their faith while taking care of their daily needs on tour. I personally have been able to read hundreds of storybooks, color many coloring pages, and play hours of tag, but I also have been able to teach them in devotions, pray with them, and listen to their hearts as God is shaping their lives and their futures. We are currently looking for people that love the Lord, love children, and wouldn't mind traveling across the United States, Canada, and the UK. We take people with a wide variety of different skill sets, including logistics, administration, music, teaching, and then some more specific skill sets, including a sound technician and a bus driver. If this is something that you are interested in, or maybe you know someone that you think might be interested in it, please come and visit with me. I'll be right out those doors at the sponsorship table after the concert. I would love to talk to you and give you some more information. But for now, enjoy the rest of the show. In Africa, dancing is the icing to any ceremony, from baths to marriages to sad goodbyes. This dance is called Gaze. It is a tra traditional children's dance of the Nubara people from the Western region in Northern Uganda. It is a dance that is about their everyday life. The Nubara children are young and flexible. They are active and full of energy, just like us. We hope you enjoy it as much as we do.
show me up here and say, Mom, I'm getting my ass off. Listen, we, we, are, we are surely excited about you coming here on tonight. And, and there's a few folks that I definitely want to thank before we close out tonight. Uh, the uh, new AME cluster, which is Mix Up Nash and uh, Edgecombe and Wilson County. Would you give it up for Shaco, St. James, Bethel, St. Luke, Galatia, Mans Chapel, and St. Mark AME Church? Christopher Hayward, Doris Lindsay, Johnny McPhail, and Serena Riddick, Lofton, and yours truly, Pastor Robert J. Yarbrough. Amen. So thank you. We, uh, we had a tremendous time tonight. Somebody give God praise. Amen. We had, we had, we had wow. I'm, I'm, I'm tired looking at y'all. I'm tired looking at y'all. Yeah. Now, now listen, uh, we, we've asked our, our young people to join them tonight for this last song and dance. Is that all right? Yeah. Would you give it up for St. Mark's Little Messenger? Come on, come on, Little Messengers. Come on, come on. Listen. 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 Where, 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 where's, my, where's that hype crowd at? Where, where y'all at? I need, I, I need y'all to come gather in these corners. Y'all come get in the corners. Come on, hype folk. Hurry up quickly, come quickly. My hype folk right there. Come on, young people, quick. Now, some of y'all can sing, and you can be up on the top. Some of y'all can dance. I'm gonna put you in the corner. Yeah, yeah, there they are. Right? Some of y'all can play instruments. Turn to your neighbor and say, stay in your lane, stay in your He said, my lane is the drummer's mom. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. He all right. You ready? Listen, we're going to have some good time. And th th there's no more dancers? I need some hype dancers up here. Where y'all at? Y'all better come on quick. Where they at? Okay. Oh, oh I see y'all. All right. We're going to turn it over to them. We're going to rock the house. I'm, I'm getting this. I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting these some of this.
please make sure, please make sure you take them home with you today. Please make sure you take them home with you today and you go by the product tables. Somebody here knows how to dance, knows how to sing, knows how to teach instruments. And you, you're going to go through a life transforming experience by becoming a sponsor. And God has opened up an opportunity in your life for you to be able to do that. And we thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen? Amen. Can I thank you tonight for $2,144? Come on, give yourselves a big hand. A big hand, a big hand, a big hand. A big hand! A big hand. A big hand. We give God glory, we give God honor, we give God praise. We want to close out in prayer, is that all right? Come on, grab a hold of the person's hand next to you. Come on, grab a hold of the person's hand next to you. Come on, we all in this thing together. The world is getting a whole lot smaller. We're all in this thing together. Methodists and Baptists and holiness and Church of God and Christ, doesn't matter. We're all in this thing together. Muslim and Buddhist. We're in this thing together, y'all. I said we're in this thing together. We're going to have to figure out how we can work together in order for us to take this thing to another level. St. Mark, we love you. Thank you so much for what you did tonight. Would you release that hand and give St. Mark just another hand of praise? Hey, for the time, talent, and treasure. You guys did awesome. Come on, grab a hold of that hand. Whether you want to close your eyes or not, it's up to you, but I want, I want to bless you tonight. I want to bless you tonight. Somebody's having a good time. Another musician is born tonight. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, so grateful and thankful for this night. Brought us together, Father. Some young people had to come from halfway around the world to show us how to get together on a Friday night to lift up your name in praise. God, the sweat that now pours from their brow is nothing compared to to what their families have gone through. Help us, Father, to realize it not robbery for us to take them home with us tonight. Let's not let it stop at $2,144. But there's a t-shirt with my name on it. There's a statue with my name on it. God, I still can give right now in the name of Jesus of my time, my talent, and my treasure. Bless my brother or my sister whose hand I'm holding on my left or my right. Lord, I shake that hand and let them know that I got a feeling. I got a feeling that everything is going to be all right. Father, I'm squeezing their hand just to let them know that the Father hears their cry and God pities their every groan. Lord, I'm gonna pull on that hand and let him know, I know what you're going through. Cause I'm going through myself somebody. But God, as you can allow us to leave this place, Lord, we don't ever wanna leave your presence. And we ask you, God, in the name of Jesus, to go with us and go by us. Help us to get back in our cars and go down your street and go back to your house and let it be a haven of peace and tranquility. Meet every need as we stand on the eve of Black History Month. Help, it to, help us to recognize that we gotta have our own story and not just his story. Father, bless us tonight. 
Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling. Present us faultless before his divine majesty with exceeding joy. To the one and wise true God be glory and dominion, both majesty and power, both now and forever. And all God's children said, Amen. 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 amen, amen. And amen again. Amen. If you got on some African gear, I need you to come up here and take a picture. We invite you to come back. Right at the end, we ask you, if you got on African gear, you come up here and take a picture. They're going to bless us one more time. Come back and see us. Fourth Sunday, we got Rocky Mountain High School Band in the building. Doing our 11 o'clock service. And we're asking you to come back with your HBCU shirt on on fourth, fourth Sunday to be with us. Give them another big hand as they close out with their last night. Thank you. 